All right, we're going to have an end of the week update. There's Phoebe there. She's chewing on a piece of mulch. Phoebe is not compatible with gardening, but she will learn because she's a smart dog. Well, here we go. Here's my, my uh, plants. These are my tomatoes and peppers and some basil. These are ready to go in the garden. They've been hardening off for over a week now, and they really are ready, and I'll, I'll tell you why. If you saw my picture of my starved for water plant, it's this one right here, this little guy on the end. This plant was, is a Roma, and it was virtually dead yesterday, but I watered it and it has come alive again, and it's a good healthy plant. Now the problem with these little cups is that in the sunlight, when they're getting hardened off, these cups don't retain water really well, they dry out quickly. Then you water them, the plants come back to life, and they, 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 they perk up, and then they dry out again the next day. So these cups are good for developing a root system while they're still under my grow lights but right now they're ready to go in the ground these these guys are, are a little bit small smaller than I'd like to go in the ground but they need to go in the ground look at that that's a healthy tomato plant right there that is a Martino's Roma now these plants are going to be planted this weekend this is the end of week four actually I'm one day early so this is 27 days into uh, into our growing season and that's the update. Oh look down here. I've got some radishes growing in containers down here various kinds of radishes and These guys I'm going to plant tomatoes in this in this uh, or peppers in these in these containers at some point but My pepper plants are small. Look at those dudes. They're little small pepper plants. They're not ready to be transplanted So by the time those guys are done these little dudes will be ready to plant now the bugs like these, you can see that as I've hardened them off, some of them have been attacked by bugs and, and some of them are probably not going to make it to the containers, but then we've got others that are really healthy. Back here's my basil, you'll find that I like basil but also the bugs like basil, the ba bugs like basil a lot as you can see, but there's enough basil plants there for everybody and we'll have plenty of pesto this year. Well, there's my update. and. We'll get these in the ground this weekend and post lots of pictures. Thanks. Bye-bye.